We love hip hop. Okay, Lil Wayne. Let's talk about Lil Wayne quick fast. Tunchi, aka Lil Delulu. Let's pull up this page here. And then we're going to get off of all of this Drake Kendrick book. Because Jesus Christ, bro. Talk about sucking up the air for the whole year, bro. Both y'all, both Drake and Kendrick, y'all, nobody else can shine in hip hop for the whole year. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind. I'll take the traction. But I'm sure there's some other rappers that are like, hey, yo, we rap, right? Can you pay attention to, I'll crash out. If you want me to crash out, I'll crash out. Somebody do it. Cover us. React to our news stories because, like, y'all niggas just taking up all the space. Jesus Christ. Hold on. Let me go back right here. This is what I said to Lil Wayne. Y'all can see this on the screen. I said, now you're acting the Lulu, bro. Cut it out. We love you. You literally whined about the Super Bowl over and over. Go congratulate the man and call it a night. And the reason I'm saying this is, I guess, from the first track from that um, Whacked Out Murals on the Kendrick Lamar GNX album. He mentioned Lil Wayne. He said his hard work let Lil Wayne down. And Lil Wayne said, what? He came up from the lean cup, said, yo, man, what the F did I do? I just be chilling. And they still come from my head. No, he didn't. It's, he Calm down. Let's not take kindness for weakness. Let, the, let, let this giant sleep. I beg you all. No one really wants destruction. Not even me. But I shall destroy if disturbed. On me. Love. Don't cheat. Let me ask you guys a question. Because I think you guys are a pretty intelligent panel or um, set of chat over here. Can Lil Wayne... <laughs> Crazy question time. Can Lil Wayne... Beat... Kendrick in a battle, right? We just we just saw what happened this summer with the whole Drake and Kendrick Lamar battle. People have their thoughts about Drake and whether he's equipped to be able to battle anybody, Ray Tay Tay. However, he's gone to war when it's time. He went up against Meek Mill. He went up against Pusha T. No matter what the results were of any of those battles, he battles, okay? Win or lose, man goes into the fight. Tunchi now, is he ready for battle? Because I'm hearing a little bit more than just him just doing this little tweet. I think there's an Instagram post saying something about this. Let me pull. Let me pull up the post here. Scoot to no jumper. They posted something about this because I think he might have a song on the way. Tunchi. Somebody, I'm hearing. It. Sorry. Here comes Joe Button again. Listen, Joe has some serious bots. Joe got bots too. So, if somebody picked up the phone, tried tried to call and see what the energy was, and hearing that Kendrick didn't answer. Well, he told us in his letter, "I go without a phone for months." Anyway. Don't call my phone. Yeah, but if I'm calling you rapper to rapper mm. and you don't answer, it's mm -hmm. like what Mark told fucking Flip when they had their shit. Yeah, yeah. It, it. Say so, it. Somebody, I'm hearing this. Somebody, pick. now I'm I'm going in the booth. You have until I get in that booth to, to, hit, me to back, hit me back. I don't want to hit if you back. You don't. Go in the booth. Go in the booth. Let's stay there for a second. Are we talking about Wayne? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing that Wayne went in the booth. Who? Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> he went in the booth he went in the booth are y'all ready for Lil Wayne versus Kendrick Lamar 
Let me check the poll early. Let me check the temperature. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I asked in the poll right now, can Lil Wayne beat Kendrick Lamar in a battle? 29% says yes. 71% says no. Oh, God damn. Tough room. You're telling me Lil Tucci can't do nothing to Kendrick? That's crazy. You're right, though. Lil Wayne, you got to chill, bro. You got to cut it out, man. You've been acting like a child. How old is Lil Wayne? Can we look up how old, how old is Wayne? Let me go do some Googles quick fast. Because the man is acting like a 10-year-old, bro. With all due respect, Wayne, you know, I, I don't know. I commented on his video the, or on his actions the other day. Um, Nerdy Girl says 41. Let's pull up Lil Tunchi. September. Bro, come on, man. Grow up, man. You didn't make the Super Bowl. You didn't deserve the shit. It wasn't Kendrick's fault. The man ha didn't even diss you. He mentioned you because you, because you acted like a child. Like a petulant child. And again, I'll say respectfully. I'm not trying to get no DMs like, yo, stop this in the goat. Okay? But, bro, you're acting like a pickney, bro. Like a little child. You whined and bitched and cried about not being able to be on the Super Bowl. Went to Louisiana Fest. Said, oh, y'all make me feel so much better. This is where I really need to be. And blah, blah, blah. Not even thinking about how disrespectful you sound to the guy who actually got picked to do the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? That's that selfish shit. You know what I'm saying? So self-absorbed by the way that he felt by not getting getting picked to do the Super Bowl that you're not even thinking about the guy who did get picked to do the Super Bowl and, and how it makes it look like he doesn't deserve to have the Super Bowl. Like, And I'm saying this over here out of Toronto. The nigga deserved the shit. Even if I don't like the message in the song, he has the biggest song. Even if Universal bodied the shit out of the song and all the things that Drake is a, le a legend, it's the biggest shit right now. He had a great year. What are we talking about? Who else is supposed to do the Super Bowl? If not Lil Weezy, and then not, and let's say, if, let's say, okay, you guys are arguing, we don't like the way this is going. It, it, you guys are getting a little bit too messy about just somebody getting picked for the Super Bowl. You're both out. Get out of my office. Who are they going to pick next? I'll wait. Because I ain't trying to see Travis Scott do doing a goddamn Super Bowl. I'm sorry. I like Travis Scott, but I'm not trying to see him do the Super Bowl right now. Respectfully. Right? Food uh, Skipper 76 says, I stand with Wheezy. Lamar Lashley says, Kodak Black. <laughs> Yeah, keep him away from the stadium. Nigga, jump on the stage and pop a perky right on the stage. Yeah. Who else is going to take the spot? Drake's turned it down a bunch of times, so it's not like a, a whole, oh, you're trying to slight my guy. Because I know, you know, no matter what, Weezy's a loyal guy. And I respect it. But if it's not, if it's not Kendrick Lamar, and it's not going to be you, Wayne. Not because we're picked. Let's 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 get it clear, Wayne. 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 If you see this, you're probably going to see this. But if you ever do, talk to us for a second. The reason that you weren't picked for the Super Bowl is not because they picked Kendrick Lamar. They didn't pick you for the Super Bowl because you're not Super Bowl ready, my guy. They could have had Taylor Swift. They could have had. Quavo go in the goddamn Super Bowl and they still want to try to go draw for you, bro. I'm sorry. Just none of your friends are telling you this shit, man. Niggas love Wayne like I do too. So they're, they don't have the heart to tell the nigga like, bro, you looking kind of crazy. Like your dreads are literally falling off of the, the, your forehead, my youth. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I can smell lean coming out your pores. I'm sorry. Great music, legacy, Super Bowl, mm, not really. But now you're deflecting as if the Super Bowl thing wasn't a you problem and you're making it Kendrick's problem. Don't do that, bro. Like I said in the tweet, we love you, Wayne. Leave before the legacy, before you look crazy. Not even leave. You're still cooking. You're still making fi fire music. It doesn't have the same visibility as it used to, but it's getting better. He's Wayne is still getting better as a rapper. Keep that in mind. But we ain't trying to see you in no goddamn Super Bowl, bro. Leave Kendrick alone, bro. I don't even want to sound like that guy, you know what I'm saying? But, yo, leave Kendrick alone. He's a little sick in the head, bro. Mind he don't come call you a pedophile or something next, bro. I'm not saying that you have anything like that. Just, just, just hear me out. <laughs> I'm just saying. The nigga made a lie go all the way across the world and turn into a number one record. What you think he going to do to you, fam? What's the last time? What's the last thing? What's the last time Lil Wayne really dissed somebody? And that was substantial. F Pusha T and everybody who love him. All right. Lil Wayne don't even have battle bars like that. He's never really went up against anybody. He will literally have to call Drake to help him write the bars for a battle. Gang, give, give, me, give me some battle songs that Wayne had. Songs that he was going at somebody. Besides the... I, there was the Pusha T one. What else song did Wayne have where he was like, oh, you know, I don't mess up. Don't mess with Wayne. Remember what he did to so-and-so? I don't remember that time. See? Nothing. I don't see no songs in the chat. I'm sorry, Wayne. Just fall back this time. Okay. We still love you, bro. We love hip-hop. Hip -hop. Hip -hop.